Who wants to be the recorder? Well, Okay, good morning, Melissa. My name is Karen, and I'm going to be working with you today. I'm your occupational therapist. One of the first things we want to do is we want to measure how much motion you have in each one of your joints. So I'm going to see how far you can move your shoulder, your elbow, whatever. And this is what I'm going to use. This is called a goniometer. You can see it's just plastic. There's there's no sharp ends on it or anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like a ruler, and I'm going to do some measurements. Okay. 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 For the first one, what I'm going to do is let's put your arm down at the side. Okay, now what I'm going to have you do is just bring your arms straight out in front of you, up over your head, as far as you can go. Great. Okay, hold it right there. Okay, you can put your arm down now. Okay, your shoulder flexion went from 0 to 55. And at that point, I would nod. Okay, this next one is real similar, but this time what I want you to do is just bring your arms straight back. Okay, that's your arm. Okay, that was 0 to 75 degrees extension. Okay. This next one, I'm going to come behind you. Just have your arm hang down like this, and let's turn your thumb. Okay, now for this one, bring your arms straight out to the side, up over your head as far as you can go. Caught in your face. There we go. Okay, put your arm down. Okay, that one she did from 0 to 155 of abduction. Okay, for this next one, I'm going to bring your arm out to the side. And if it's more comfortable, you can bend your elbow a little bit if you want to. Okay, now what I'm going to have you do, bring your arm across in front of you like you're going to touch your opposite shoulder. Okay, you can relax. So for shoulder, horizontal, and up. She went from 0 to 109. <coughs> okay, let's so bring you back out for one more. Okay, for this one, I want you to just bring your arm back, your elbow or your whole arm, whatever is easiest. Shoulder horizontal adduction, she went zero, zero to 85. Okay. Now, for the last one on your shoulder, we're going to bring you out like this. There you go. Now, for the first one, what I want you to do is just bring your hand up like you're going to point to the ceiling. Shoulder external rotation, she went 0 to 89. Okay, okay now this one, I'm going to take your arm down and point to the floor. Okay, you can relax. Shoulder internal rotation, she went 0 to 50 degrees. Okay, now for this next one, bring your arm down to the side like this. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, can you straighten out your elbow for me? See how far you can... Okay, okay bring me back down like this. What I want you to do is just do this motion so you're, you're straight here. There you go. Okay. Okay, now what I want you to do is just bend your elbow. Her elbow extension flexion was 0 to 30, 136 degrees. Okay, now for 
this one, we're going to tuck your elbow right here. Okay. For this first one, what I'm going to have you do is just turn your palm facing up, okay? Okay, go ahead and turn. the tables close that they don't have to move. We'll set up the room that way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's turn your hand like this. And you can relax your thumb a little bit. Okay, for this first one, I want you to just move your hand in like this. Okay. I'm just going to the head wrist flexion, she went 0 to 35 degrees of flexion. Now relax and moving your hand out. Now this next one, I want you to slide your hand out this way. Okay, now get your thumb to relax a little bit. Okay, wrist flexion, or wrist extension, she went 0 to 46 degrees of extension. And as you look at me, if I've got it down, I'll just nod and that means keep going. Okay, now we're going to turn your arm over like this. Okay. Okay, now what I want you to do is just slide your hand towards your little finger side. There you go. Okay, ulnar deviation was 0 to 36 degrees. is 0 to 20 degrees. Okay. Now, did your elbow hurt you at all? No. Okay, can we bend it? And let's put your hand up like this. Okay, because we're going to measure each of your fingers. Now, straighten them all out. Okay, we've got full extension there. Okay, good. Now, just bend them um, at this joint right here. Bend them like that. in there. Okay, so she goes 0 to 59 degrees of MP flexion. Remember, you only have to do one finger. Okay, now relax these. Now just bend the ones at the end. And as far as you can. There you go. And, switch over. and I'll have these little ones for you to use too. degrees of PIP flexion. Now let's do the tips. Again, a little down. There you go. Let's tip your wrist back a little bit. Let's open up your thumb. There we go. Okay, that one is 0 to 85 degrees of flexion. Okay, now if you lay your hand down like this, and you can relax your fingers a little bit. What I'm going to have you do is just bring your fingers back like this. There you go. And that little thumb again. Okay, hyperextension of MP is 0 to 20. And then the last one for your fingers is going to be flat like this. So what I'm going to have you do is move your finger off to the side. This one right here. Can you move that? Do it again. Okay, 
zero to fifteen degrees of index finger MP abduction. Okay, you just have your thumb left, so let's turn it over this way. Let's come back up on your elbow again. Keep these straight, and what I have you do is just bend your thumb over. There you go. We're gonna go right over the top of it for you. Okay. This one is zero to about 67 degrees of MP flexion. Okay, and lower up there, relax these. Now just bend your tip. There you go. Okay. That one is yeah, 0 to 65 of IP flexion. Okay, for the last two, we're going to lay your hand down like this. Put your thumb right next to the index finger like that. Okay. This one is really loose. I'm just going to. I'll make sure yours aren't aren't loose. It makes it hard to hang on to it. This one. Okay. Then what you do is just bring your thumb out like this, away from your hand. Okay. So she got zero to forty degrees of Palmer abduction. And for radial abduction, I'll lay it flat. Okay, this time slide your thumb out. Okay. And that was zero to about 33 degrees of radial abduction. Now I'm going to switch, I'm going to do the other one, the alternate ones. I said you could use either of them. The alternate's going to look like this. Station your bar is going to follow this index finger. Okay, now bring your thumb out away from your hand. Okay, that zero to fifty-five degrees of Palmer abduction. to 52 degrees of radial abduction. Okay. And then you're done.